watching so today I'm gonna show you this makeup look here which is a blue artistic cut crease here I used black white some blues and greens everything to create dimensions and contrast in the makeup it's almost an artistic makeup look of course it's super dramatic and appropriated for a night out check out my blog for the list of all the products that I use in my videos Give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe here in my channel. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching and let's begin. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply this primer potion by Urban Decay. This will keep everything in place. And then I'm gonna use this black eyeshadow base by NYX in the color New War. This will help me to create a design of the makeup and also the lines of the cut crease. You can also use a black gel eyeliner. Personally, I prefer to work with this eyeshadow base because it's easier to blend and the gel eyeliner dries so fast. So here I'm doing a line in my outer corner like if I'm doing a big angled eyeliner with a really small angled brush to give me more precise shape then I'm gonna fill this outer corner with my eyeshadow base already starting to create the gradient And now with my open eyes eye and what is left in my brush, I'm gonna just trying to create my cut crease, slowly drawing a line above my natural crease and adding the product a little at a time, avoiding to make any mistake. And also really carefully I go comparing my eyes to make them look exactly the same thing because in this makeup a little difference you can see from far. This is why this makeup is so complicated to do. So if you don't have much experience in the makeup, you can try it sometimes. But of course, the practice is everything. So now to fix the darker shadow base in the place, I'm gonna use the color Black Smoky by Artist of Makeup. This is one of my favorite black eyeshadows. I love this brand so much. Using a big angled brush, I'm gonna start to fill my outer corner and then I'm gonna change the brush and apply more color. And now from this awesome palette by Motivus Cosmetics, I'm gonna use this light brown eyeshadow to blend the edges of this black eyeshadow, creating a beautiful gradient using a small fluffy brush.
using this jumbo pencil by NYX in the color milk I'm gonna just fill all the space that I leave without any shadow with this white shadow base this will make all the colors more vibrant I'm applying it with a really small angled brush this will help me to draw a really precise line correcting any mistake this white shadow base I'm gonna apply also in my inner corner and in my lower lash line just a little bit And now from this stunning palette by Motivus Cosmetics, I'm gonna use this dark green eyeshadow beside of the black eyeshadow that we applied before using a normal eyeshadow brush. I absolutely love all the eyeshadows and products by Motivus Cosmetics. They are super pigmented and last longer and the colors are so beautiful. Then in my eyelid, I'm gonna apply this beautiful blue by Artist of Makeup. This is the color Tropic. I go adding a little at a time, covering all the blank space. Just leave the inner corner without any shadow for the next step. And now to give even more life and gradient and contrast in this makeup, I'm gonna apply this beautiful green eyeshadow by Art Stuff Makeup. I never saw any green beautiful as this one. This will also help to blend between the colors. As you can see for me, it's so hard to find the colorful shades that I like because I prefer everything super neutral and wearable and blended. So this makeup is not my style, but I kinda like it for different things and occasions. And I think it's so funny to show you another techniques and colors. To highlight my inner corner, I'm gonna use this beautiful pigment by MAC, which is my favorite vanilla. Using a small pencil brush to apply it, slowly I apply all over this white shadow base. Again, using this Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the color Milk, I'm gonna line my eyes in the outer corner, creating a contrast in the makeup between the white and the black. And this will be the white space between the second eyeliner that I'm gonna do after. Using this black gel eyeliner by MAC, one of my favorites in the color Black Track, I'm gonna apply it in my lower lash line and also draw another line in my outer corner, creating the two eyeliners. Again, from my Motivus palette and this light brown eyeshadow, using a small brush, I'm gonna blend my lower lash line, diffusing this eyeliner a little bit. With my gel eyeliner again, I'm gonna line my eyes, creating this eyeliner thin as possible because I don't wanna hide the beautiful gradient of the colors. This part is optional, I'm using a really thin glitter by MAC, this is the Reflex Gold, just in my inner corner to make the look more bright. <music> to bronze my face, I'm using this really cute palette by Too Faced, this is the No Filter Selfie and this palette really works, so I'm using the shade here in the middle and I love it to bronze my face. To highlight, I use it a little bit of the blue. As you can see, it don't look blue, but to give a beautiful highlight. This palette is so pretty and pigmented. <music> so 
So now I'm gonna apply my blush. This one is the Sweet Thing by Sigma. This blush is so cute. Don't forget to use the code Melissa SB in any purchase that you do. In the website of Sigma Beauty, you have 10% off. All the brushes that I use it are from Sigma Beauty as well. And now I'm gonna highlight my face using this beautiful highlighter by MAC. This is the soft and gentle I'm applying with a big fluffy eyeshadow brush. The contact lenses that I use it are from Desi Eyes in the color Desert Dream. And the fake lashes that I use it are from Velour. The lip Stick that I chose for this makeup is the color Tender by Motivus Cosmetics. This is the perfect nude for my skin tone. I love it so much, especially because it is matte. I'm just crazy about this color. So that's it, my lovies. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you need to know how I do my eyebrows or my skin, I'm gonna put the link here in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe for more news and follow me on Instagram for more pictures of my work. Check out my blog for the list of all the products that I use it. And I see See you in the next videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Melissa Samuels. No, no go say. Also, don't forget to follow. Forget. Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Everybody! <laughs>